All right, let's talk about the ankle complex. First, you have your ankle joint, which is between the talus and the tibia and the fibula. It's uniaxial, okay, and the motions are dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. The tibia um, is on the medial side, and you can palpate your medial malleolus. Your fibula is on the lateral side, and you can palpate your lateral malleolus. And then you have your talus. And so the tibia and fibula come together and kind of create a little rectangle over the top of your talus. You have ligaments which hold this joint together since the joint capsule is weak. On the medial side, it's called your deltoid ligament. Um, 15 to 20% of your ankle sprains can occur on the medial side. And then on the lateral side, you have the anterior posterior talofibular ligament. Um, and just note the ease of, of anatomy in naming, right? It's very basic. It goes from your talus to your fibula. On the anterior side, another ligament goes from your talus to your fibula on the posterior side. And then the third ligament on the lateral side of the ankle joint is your calcaneofibular, which goes from the calcaneus to the fibula. Remember, it's a lateral side. Your fibula is on the lateral side. These are more frequently injured, right? So when you roll, quote unquote, roll your ankle, you would be um, injuring the lateral ligaments. You also have your interosseous ligament, which holds your fibula and tibia together, and typically you will fracture the fibula before tearing that ligament. So what mo movements? Dorsiflexion, and this is based on muscles anterior to the joint, based on line of pull, and they're listed here, and then plantar flexion, which based on, on the line of pull would be due to the joints posterior to the ankle joint, gastroc, soleus being two of them. All right, the other joint is your subtalar joint. So based on the name, it's below the talus. Your talus is on the top of the foot right here, and then you'd have your tibia and um, fibula on top of that, creating the ankle joint. And then subtalus, you have this other joint, which is off axis, so it has very interesting motions. And it is bec between the talus and the calcaneus, because the calcaneus is um, inferior to the talus. So this joint is where we get our inversion and in eversion in the frontal plane. Um, it's through the anterior posterior axis. Inversion is when you pull the soles or the plantar part of your foot toward the midline. So you kind of ride on the lateral side of your foot and your soles are pointed together. Eversion is when the plantar part of your foot is, is showing laterally. All right, so I invite you guys to practice those motions. The other motion is in the horizontal plane, so through the vertical axis. It's AB and adduction. Adduction is the anterior surface of your foot or your toes are toward the midline. Abduction is when your anterior surface of the foot or your toes are away from the midline. And here is a, a view of this. So we have dorsiflexion and plantar flexion occurring at the talocrural joint, and you have eversion, so the sole of your foot is pointing laterally, or inversion, where the sole of your foot is pointing medially, and then adduction and abduction. Adduction is the toes, toes are pointing toward the midline, abduction, toes are pointing away from the midline. And why are these important? They're important for the motions pronation and supination. And we'll see these motions again up in the radial ulnar joint, but for those of you who are runners, you probably have heard of pronation, motion control shoes. It's a huge business. Um, and pronation and supination are combination motions. And they occur both at the ankle joint and the subtalar joint. So let's just briefly look at them. Pronation. At the ankle joint, you have dorsiflexion. At the subtalar joint, you have medial rotation of the tibia, which looks like abduction of the foot and eversion of the subtalar joint. So dorsiflexion, abduction, eversion. Supination is the opposite. At the ankle joint, you plantar flex. The subtalar joint, you have lateral rotation of the tibia or adduction of the foot and inversion. So pronation, it's like the medial part of your arches kind of fall in. That's the shock absorption phase. Um, during supination, you kind of pull, raise that arch, your bones lock into place, and you create a rigid structure 
for which to propel forward.